Hi everyone, it's Bianca here. In this tutorial I show you how to work this peach with the leaf on top into a square. We need five different colors for this square. Two colors for the peach, a yellow and a peach color, then one color for the square and two colors for the leaf, green and a little bit of brown. You need also a scissors and a needle and for my choice of yarn I need to work with a 4 mm crochet hook. The first color, that's yellow, and we begin with a magic circle on the hook. And we begin with our first double crochet and that's a chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. Now in the magic circle make 11 double crochets. First double crochet, yarn over, enter hook in the magic circle, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull for 2, yarn over, pull for 2. That's 1. Make 11 in total. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. With your first chain 3 here in the beginning, counts also for a first double crochet, you have now 12 double crochets in total in the magic circle. Now pull in the short tail of the magic circle, so the magic circle close here in the center, and then on top of the very first double crochet, that's the chain 3, in the third chain stitch we make a slip stitch. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three in that stitch. Enter your hook, grab your yarn, pull through, and pull through. Round two with the same color. We start our first double crochet, that's a chain three. One, two, three, and now into that same stitch where we make that slip stitch in the previous round, we work, work on top, one double crochet. So we have here in the beginning, in the very first stitch, two double crochets in that same stitch. Now in the next 11 stitches, we work two double crochets in that same stitch. Yarn over, enter hook in the next stitch, Make one double crochet and go back into that same stitch with a second. We work like this all the way around. In every stitch, two double crochets in that same stitch. If you work like this all the way around, then you have on the end of this round 24 double crochets. In total. I'm all the way around, now I cut the yarn, not too short, and open up that last stitch. You pull your hook all the way up. Now I grab the needle, and I make a invisible join in the beginning. We skip our first double crochet, that's the chain 3, then on the top of the very first wheel double crochet, under through that V stitch here, go under through, pull through, you go back to the last double crochet, only in the back loop of that stitch, and then you go back in the top of that chain 3, also in the third chain stitch, only in the back loop of that stitch. Then you pull through, and then you have here in the beginning also a little V stitch on top of that chain 3. 
turn my work, go under to a little thread here on the back, pull through, for a second time under to that same thread, but now you pull not your yarn all the way through and through, till you have here a little loop. You enter the needle into that loop and then you pull, so you have here a little knot. And then you weave only in the back loop of the stitches, only in the back of the stitches. You do not see that needle here on the front of the stitches, so you work only in the back of the stitches. You weave that tail in. It's not too tight. Then you skip one stitch here on the back and go on the two the stitches. On the back of the stitches and pull through. Then we do this also with the tail of the magic circle. We keep we create first a little knot. So on the two, one little thread here on the back. Pull through for a second time, make a little loop. Enter the needle into that loop and then pull and then weave only in the back of the stitches your tail in. We start on the second color, that's the peach color, and make a slip knot on the hook. And we begin with a standing single crochet in the third double crochet of the previous round and your first stitch of the previous round is that chain three counts also for one double crochet it's one then in the second and the third one in the third one we begin with a standing single crochet so the yarn is on the hook here is your chain three one two three in the third double crochet under to that V, grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over and pull for two for a standing single crochet. Now we make two single crochets into the next stitch. One back into that same stitch for a second and then into the next stitch make only one single crochet. We do that again into the next stitch, two single crochets in that same stitch, one back in that same stitch, two, and then in the next stitch, one single crochet. And we do this again into the next stitch, two single crochets in that same stitch, one and two, and in the next stitch, only one single crochet. Then in the next stitch make two single crochets in that same stitch, one and two. Then in the next stitch we make one half double crochet, yarn over the hook, enter hook in the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull the three in one go. Into the next stitch make two half double crochets in that same stitch. Yarn over and pull to three. That's one. Back into that same stitch for a second half double crochet. In the next stitch only one half double crochet. And then into the next stitch we make one half double crochet and back into that same stitch one double crochet. Yarn over pull for two, yarn over pull for two. So we have here one half double crochet and also one double crochet in that same stitch. In the next stitch make only one double crochet. 
and then make two double crochets in the next stitch. That's one, back into the same stitch for a second. And that one double crochet and two double crochets in the next stitch, we repeat those stitches four more times in the next stitch. One double crochet, in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch. We have to repeat three more times these stitches. In the next stitch one double crochet, in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch. One and two. We have to repeat two more times. In the next stitch one double crochet, in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch and one more in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch then in the next stitch one double crochet and then in the next stitch we work and that's the last stitch here for that standing single crochet we work in that last stitch one double crochet and one half double crochet in that same stitch so we start with a double crochet in that stitch and then back into that same stitch and one half double crochet so yarn over and you can that same stitch grab your yarn pull up yarn over pull to three and then on top of the very first Standing single crochet, make one slip stitch. Don't cut the yarn in the next round, we use the same color. We start on round four. We begin with a chain. Counts for nothing, it's only to high up a stitch. Now back into that same stitch where you make that slip stitch, work one single crochet. That's your very first stitch. Into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, make two single crochets in that same stitch. It's one, back into the same stitch, two. In the next two stitches, one single crochet. So in the next stitch, one. And in the next stitch also one single crochet and then into the next stitch make two single crochets in that same stitch so one back into the same stitch two in the next two stitches only one single crochet it's so one into the next stitch also one into the next stitch two single crochets in that same stitch one and two now into the next two stitches make one half double crochet so one into the next stitch also one then we make into the next stitch two half double crochets in that same stitch. That's one, back into that same stitch with another. That's two. Into the next two stitches only one double crochet. So one, into the next stitch. Also one. Then into the next stitch we work two times a treble for a treble we yarn twice over the hook one and two enter your hook in the next stitch wrap your yarn pull up four loops on the hook yarn over pull for two yarn over pull for two yarn over and pull for two loops we do this again into that same stitch we yarn over twice over the hook and the hook in that same stitch, wrap your yarn, pull up, yarn over, pull for two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull for two, yarn over, pull for two. 
into the next stitch make one double crochet and work into the next stitch also one double crochet then into the next stitch make two double crochets in that same stitch spawn back into the same stitch for a second and these last four stitches two double crochets and two double crochet in that same stitch we repeat those stitches three more times so in the next two stitches only one uh, double crochet that's one into the next stitch two and then in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch one in that same stitch two we repeat those stitches two more times into the next two stitches one double crochet that's one two in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch and again in the next two stitches one double crochet and in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch in the next two stitches one double crochet that's one into the next stitch also one Now we make in the next two stitches two single crochet, uh, one single crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch one single crochet, in the next stitch only one single crochet. In the next stitch make two single crochets in that same stitch, one back into that same stitch for a second. In the next stitch one single crochet. In the next stitch, two single crochets in that same stitch, one and two. Then in the next stitch, only one single crochet. And in the last stitch, make two single crochets in that same stitch, one and two. We cut the yarn, make a visible join in the beginning, open up that stitch grab the needle and then we skip here that chain one counts for nothing the first stitch is that single crochet we skip also that stitch we go to the next stitch under to the feet on the top pull through then in the last stitch only in the back loop and in the first stitch also in the back loop and then pull through and this here is your invisible join wave both tails in on the back of the stitches so we complete the peach and with the next color we begin on the square make a slip knot on the hook And the place where we start with a standing single crochet is in this point here where we make the two trebles. These two trebles here and we start on top of the very first treble. With a standing single crochet. So you have here the two trebles and then in the very first. Here on the top. Grab your yarn pull up, yarn over and pull for two. In that same stitch make one more single crochet so you have two single crochets in that same stitch then make a chain two one two and then two single crochets on top of the next treble one and two and this here is our first corner in the next seven stitches make one single crochet one in the next two three four 
five, six, and seven single crochets. Then we make in the next three stitches one half double crochet. So yarn over in the next stitch. Grab your yarn and pull to three in one go. That's one in the next stitch, two, and in the next stitch, three. Three half double crochets. Now in the next two stitches we make a new corner, the second corner. In the next stitch make two double crochets in that same stitch. One and two. Then make a chain two and two double crochets in the next stitch, in the next same stitch. It's one in that same stitch a second. For your second corner. In the next five stitches make one half double crochet. So one in the next stitch, two in the next, three, four, and five. And you see here the start of the square. In the next five stitches, one double crochet. So one in the next, two, three, four, and five. Then in the next two stitches we make again a corner. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One. Back into that same stitch for a second. Then a chain two. And then in the next stitch two double crochets in that same stitch. One. Back in that same stitch for a second for a next corner. In the next two stitches one half double crochet. So one into the next stitch two. In the next three stitches make one single crochet one in the next two and in the next three. In the next three stitches make one half double crochet one in the next stitch, two and in the next stitch, three. In the next two stitches, one double crochet, so one in the next stitch, also one double crochet. And now we have to make our next corner into the next two stitches in the next stitch. Two double crochets in that same stitch. One and two. Then two chain stitches. And we make our corner complete in the next stitch with two double crochets. One back into the same stitch for a second. In the next stitch, one double crochet. In the next Two stitches, one half double crochet, one and in the next two, and then in our last stitch you see on the end in every stitch one single crochet. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven single crochets. On top of the very first standing single crochet you work one slip stitch. Don't cut the yarn, in the next round we use the same color. If you look now to your work then we have on each straight side 14 stitches made and then a chain two. And then 14 stitches, chain two, 
14 stitches, chain 2, 14 stitches in total, and then chain 2. The next round with the same color, we start with a chain 2, count for your first half double crochet. In the next stitch, make also one half double crochet. In that chain 2 space, we make a new corner. Two half double crochets in that chain 2 corner space. It's one and two, and then you make one chain and then two half double crochets back into that same chain 2 corner space to complete the first corner. And now we have to work in every stitch on the straight side and that's 14 stitches in total, one half double crochet. Your first stitch is here after that chain 2, that's your first stitch. Don't skip that stitch. 14 half double crochets on the straight side. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and in the last stitch, number fourteen. And then in the next chain two corner space, we have to work a new corner of two half double crochets in that chain two corner space. Then only one chain and two half double crochets back into that same chain two corner space. And this is the way how you work all the way around. Every straight side 14 half double crochets and in every chain two corner space a new corner of two half double crochets, chain one, two half double crochets all the way around. Here after that last corner of two half double crochets, chain one, two half double crochets, you have to work only 12 half double crochets. In the beginning you have here made also two half double crochets. That's also 14 half double crochets on this last side here. Then on top of the very first half double crochet, that's the chain two, we work one slip stitch. One and two in that stitch and then we have to work one more round we start with a chain one counts for nothing it's only to hype a stitch now back into that same stitch where you make in the previous round on top of that chain two one slip stitch you work in that stitch one single crochet into the next three stitches also one single crochet one two and three then here in the chain one space we make a new corner and this is a little bit different corner that we usual uh, do we make one single crochet in that chain one space and then make a chain one and then on top of every stitch you work one single crochet and your first stitches here after that chain two of the chain one in that stitch you work also one single crochet and then is your corner complete then on top of every stitch on the straight side you work one single crochet Work like this, all your single crochets, and I see you here in the next corner. I work all my single crochets also in the last stitch, and then here 
in the next chain one space you make a new corner of one single crochet in that chain one corner space then make a chain one and to complete the corner we make that single crochet on top of the very first stitch of the straight side and then again in every stitch one single crochet work like this all the way around then you cut the yarn and then on top of the second stitch here in the beginning you work one invisible join and wave the tails in on the back of the stitches the square is complete now we have to work on top of the peach a little leaf with the color green make a magic circle on the hook and we start with a chain two it's one and two counts for your first half double crochet in the magic circle make 11 half double crochets so yarn over enter your hook in the magic circle grab your yarn pull up three loops on the hook yarn over and pull to three that's one make 11 in total it's two three Eleven half double crochets with your first chain two in the beginning. We have here twelve half double crochets in the magic circle. Now close the magic circle and make on top of the very first half double crochet that's the chain two a slip stitch in the second chain. It's one and two in that stitch, one slip stitch. We start with a chain two counts also for a chain two now back into that same stitch where you make that slip stitch in the previous round make one half double crochet in that same stitch now into the next stitch make two half double crochets in that same stitch that's one back into that same stitch for a second in the next four stitches one single crochet of one half double crochet it's one two three and four now make a chain one and then in the next four stitches also one half double crochet it's one two three and four then into the next stitch two half double crochets in that same stage spawn back into the same stage for a second then into the next stitch one half double crochet make a chain two and then here in the last stitch you work one slip stitch into that same stitch where you make that last half double crochet now make a chain make a little knot like this and pull a loop and cut the yarn and here is our leaf
Now with the needle, I wave that working tail in, in the back of the stitches of the leaf. So you turn your work upside down and wave that tail in. And then cut that tail. And then we have here our tail of the magic circle. Close the magic circle very tight. And then make you on the back a little knot. You go on the tool in a little stitch. Then pull through for a second time on the through that same stage. Now make a little loop. Then you go with the needle into that loop and pull. Now turn your leaf to the good side and then place it on top of the peach. Then you make small stitches here into the little thread here in the square and then a little stitch here on the back of that leaf. You pull not that needle through and through your work, only in tiny stitch. Pull through, then again on the tool a little stitch of the square and on the tool a little stitch here of the leaf and pull through, make a few stitches. Then make here on the back of that leaf a little knot, make a little loop, enter your needle through that loop and pull, and then only in the back of the stitches of that leaf, wave that tail in. Do not see that needle here on the front, only in the back of the stitches. And skip one stitch here on the back and go to the other side. And then cut the yarn. And we have to work a little branch here on top of that leaf with the brown color. Make little stitches on top of the leaf.
If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing. All you have to do is press the subscribe button. Then I want to ask you to like this video and then get notified so you don't miss any new tutorial from me. Leave a comment in the inscription box and share this video so more people can find me on YouTube so we can have an Eva Bicker Crochet family. For now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!